Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Sanders Springfield here. Um, and today, for today's review, we're going to be getting into the Rep Deep Neural Power Bar EX, which stands for Extreme. And we're going to get into all the pieces of what I think this is such a great bar and why I use it as my daily driver each and every day here in the garage gym. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, here we talk about um, equipment reviews, all kinds of stuff here in the garage gym. We've already talked about the Rogue Rhino behind me and the Rogue Echo Bike, among others. And uh, today we're gonna get into the Rep Power Bar. But if you have other things that you'd like me to review, you know, leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe below, leave a like, and uh, follow along for all kinds of equipment reviews and powerlifting training talk. So let's get into it. Now, to talk about to set the scene for talking about this barbell, which I love so much, um, gotta flip back to April 2020 when a lot of us, myself included, were figuring out what to get for our garage gyms. And of course, beyond the rack, a power rack, which is like the centerpiece of your gym, the other most used piece, probably you use it every single day, is your barbell. So I was looking at the offerings out there, I obviously looked at the, the most popular one probably in the entire industry, the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, um, I didn't know if I wanted to spend the money on a Kabuki uh, Next Gen Power Bar or, you know, the Alecos, uh, even though those are really nice bars. I wanted to kind of find something that had a lot of value that would last a very long time, especially in a garage, which I was going to be using, but not break the bank. And I settled on the Rep uh, Deep Null Power Bar for, for a couple reasons. Number one, and I'll talk about this a little bit, is uh, getting into the specs already, is it stainless steel? Why did that matter for me? This is a stainless steel finish from end to end, from the sleeves, from sleeve to sleeve, on the knurling, on the, on the, the non neural parts. Why is that so important? Well, stainless steel is a great finish because, in fact, it's the only finish that this barbell, the deep neural one from Rep, is offered in because it prevents oxidation and rust in this kind of environment. Um, obviously, the, the door behind me will be open most of the time during the summer, maybe even during the winter if I'm feeling, feeling a little risky. Um, so it's going to be exposed a little bit more to the elements than if it was in a normal gym. So, but with the stainless steel finish, it will resist that oxidization and rust, and it keeps upkeep at a very minimal level, honestly. Uh, I, I probably put some oil and, and scrub out this out every you know four or five weeks, but there's very little notice of any rust at all. So that's one awesome reason why I got this thing. The second reason why, you know, keeping with the stainless steel, why it's so good is there's no extra layer of paint or layer of coating between your hands and the bar, which I love because if, you know, it's a deep no power bar, you want to feel that as much as possible when you're in your, in your lifts. And while the Cerakote bars that Rogue and other manufacturers might offer are really cool, they've got those camo finishes, those all kinds of colors, maybe the American flag, et cetera, if you're feeling patriotic. This doesn't have that, it doesn't have the extra layering. And I honestly, I think it looks awesome without that. I mean, this looks, it just cuts a mean profile in the gym, either if you have it here or if you have it on the wall. Um, I love that. So like the stainless steel was one reason I thought, and also the price is not bad, honestly. You know, with Rep Fitness, it's, it's, it's a, when I bought it, it was 379 and it currently is being offered on Rep's website for 399 you figure, $40 of shipping from most places in the continental United States. So, but for that, you're gonna be able to get a lot of value for your buck. Uh, so more about the specs, um, it's, it's, it's perfect for powerlifting, which again, if you wanna kind of practice how you play like I do, um, it's 29 millimeters uh, diameter, it's uh, 32 inches between the powerlifting marks. One of the things I really love about this, and I made a mistake. At first, when I was buying barbells, I got a different one on, on accident um, from, from rep, um, they didn't have the center knurling. I didn't look at the, the page well enough, but the center knurling is obviously, you know, necessary for squats. I think because it digs into your back and it makes sure it's not going. Or if you're a low bar squatter like I am, having that dig into your back and having that center of gravity digging into your back really well is very important. Uh, some other things thinking about here. The, talking about the knurling, going into that, this is a little different from some others in the other barbells in the industry. Instead of a volcano design where like the tops of these ridges is kind of hollowed out a little bit, these are more of a mountain design where it rises up to a sharp peak but then it's a little like shaved off at the top. Um, you definitely notice it. You will notice it the first time you use this bar, first few times you use this bar. The difference between this and some other barbell you might use at your local gym. Um, but I, I love it. You get used to it. Um, it feels comfortable in your hands. It feels like very grippy but not sharp. It's not going to tear your calluses. It's not going to tear your hands up. 
while we're talking about the knurling, one thing to note is that it will eat up the UMHW on your J-cups. As you can see here on the PR4000 J-cups that I have here on my rack. These are really nice. These are like the, the third edition, like the, the premium ones, and they're really nice. They're very sturdy. But as you can see, it's starting to eat up the UMHW there from the mountain-like neural there. But I would still rather pay to replace the J-cup than the barbell, so it's worth it um, to eat up. That's exactly what it's there for. But that's one thing to note, that it might eat up the UMHW on your J-cups. Uh, the last detail I'll note is the snap ring which I think is just a nice touch. It spins really well, it looks very professional. You know, you can tell this is a nice bar, it's not just a beater bar that you're gonna do landmine weights in the corner of your gym. So ultimately, would I recommend this bar? Absolutely. Uh, I think it's best suited obviously for powerlifting specific training, you know, with those specs of 29 millimeters, 32 inches between the uh, center, the, the knurling marks and the center knurling, but you could use this for general training for sure. Uh, I use it for squats, deadlifts, bench, and all the variations thereof. I use it, you know, every single day, you know, five days a week, six days a week. And a year in, it's as if I ever said brand new. You know, I could, I could put some oil on it and rub it up a little bit and it would be as if it just came out of the box. So ultimately, I, I don't want to sound like a rep fitness like salesman here. I know my last video was about how to build a like, garage gym basics for under thousand dollars from rep, but I would recommend this one. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to trying some other bars here in the future. Uh, the Robo High Bar for, for one, maybe the Kabuki next gen eventually. But for a daily driver, you can't do any better than this. And uh, to, to say that rep fitness, which has kind of been trying to catch up to Rogue's coattails for the past several years. Uh, Rogue, of course, kind of a leader in the industry. Rep. To rep, for rep to match the quality of the Robo Higher Power Bar, which is kind of considered one of the leaders in, in that space, um, is, is saying a lot. And there's a reason why I have a, a fair amount of rep fitness equipment in my gym, because it tends to be a little cheaper than Rogue uh, equipment. That's because it's imported. Now you gotta keep that in mind. If that's okay with you, it's okay with me. Um, uh, a lot of the jobs are still, you know, getting, maybe not the manufacturing jobs, but the jobs will still be here to get it here. Um, and I think they're, they're, they're phenomenal products and the rep power bar EX, I guess it stands for extreme and it doesn't really say on the website, is, is, is a great example of that. So that's the review for today. Um, stick around, follow the channel if you wanna see more reviews and I'll see you guys next time. Um, have a good one.